Oh, that's a good point, Tony. I don't know if the announcers are off. <laughs> oh, this is like shit, Russian Roulette. Bizzle. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is like Russian Roulette. Oh, it's 619. Yeah. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. Should put him in the main event. All right, look, there's, there's nobody talking, so the announcers must be off. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jim McMahon. I don't know why I'm doing this different accent today. But hello, and uh, I'm with Gorilla Mezzo. Sounds like I got in your head about doing accents earlier tonight, Jim. <laughs> anyway, we are in New York, fucking New York, the city that never sleeps. And, uh, well, uh, in Jim's case, he ain't sleeping tonight because it's basically midnight, I assume. <laughs> and we are in our last show before the Money in the Ass pay-per-view where we will crown a Money in the Ass champion who will have a contract that gives them a shot at any title that they want at their weight class or higher. But before we get there, we have a jam-packed show to get through tonight. And we are starting it off red hot. Red and yellow hot, as it were, with Bleeding Hippie versus Muppet Pac-Man. That's right. It is June 19th, Juneteenth, 619, and Muppet Pac-Man is opening our show for us. Let's get down to ringside and get this bitch started. <laughs> Fantastic, Gorilla. And yes, there's the money in the ass. Main, well, not main event, uh, opening match. Main, I don't know, the, the what it's named after. Whatever this is, there's the money in the ass match on the screen for you there. It's, it's coming. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. We have uh, eight competitors who will all be in a ladder match to grab the contract that will give them their title shot at their choosing. It's almost a guaranteed victory in the real world. Probably not so when you add brainworms to the mix but we'll get there when we get there. Right now, <laughs> it's time for the cunty wizard's little helper, sidekick, bleeding hippie, the boy who lives, makes his way out to the ring. Yeah, hey, what a hellacious competitor he is as well. These are two fantastic superstars, aren't they? Hippie and Muppet, they had a match last week, I believe, but Hippie won, and now they're in for the rematch, and uh, you know, just a good match. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself, Jim, if I hadn't tried as hard. <laughs> Maybe if you'd had the brainworms, you'd be as good an announcer as I am. <laughs> oh, oh, we both know I'm fully fully armed and operational when it comes to announcing brainworms. <laughs> That's a good point. If you had literal brainworms, if you like <laughs> stood there in your house drooling into the mic, you'd probably be level with me. <laughs> hey, look, someone told me you could see through time if you put a few worms in your head, so... Uh... <laughs> Let me tell you. Here he comes, though. It is Muppet Pac-Man's day. The 619 himself. <laughs> yes, incredible, <laughs> isn't it? Gyrating his way to the ring. <laughs> God. Don't say anything, Tony. Don't say anything. I won't <laughs> He's just, it's just the snakes. The snakes are alive and they've taken over. <laughs> I don't understand why you would ban Tony for that. No, he didn't say anything this time, but he says other things. He says other things. He just says, don't ban me now. Because he used to say horrible things and then I used to ban him. And now he just says, don't ban me. <laughs> uh, well, no, I believe... Uh... I believe somewhere in the middle that, yes, I agree, Jimmy's probably kind of terrible, but you probably deserve most of your banning. <laughs> and here we go, Muppet starting it off with a couple stomps, but uh, countered early by Hippie, and these two are just always a delight to watch. <laughs> Missing left and right. <laughs> Can't wait for, for the inevitable uh, springboard launch into nothing by Hippie, followed by probably a match-ending 619. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and look at this. Oh, beautiful. Little kneeling uh, Hurricane Rana there. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. And these two just, oh, pretty evenly matched. They are, yes, yeah. These are, these are, these are, these are bubbling under, and I think but probably the winner of this will become the main number one contender, right? To the, uh, the Plimp on Plus away. Well, there is a lot to sort out in terms of the Plim Plum Cruiserweight division, that's for sure. What we do know is that this Sunday at Money in the Ass, we're going to see Moradam twice 
competing for the Plim Plom Pluserweight title as well as for the Money in the Bank contract, or Money in the Ass contract. And, uh, you know, if he wins that, that's a real that's a real nice thing as the champion. If he can win both of them somehow, he's got his title, knows he doesn't have to watch his back for his title, and could pursue a higher title if he wanted to. Any title would be on the table for Moradam as a Plim Plom Pluserweight. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? And, and we've seen him uh, we've seen him as the great equalizer of much larger men in the past. Maybe not as well known for it as uh, say Muppet Pac-Man, but uh, you know the the bigger the ball, the harder they fall, Jim. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And of course, Muppet Pac-Man will be in that match as well. He was the last competitor added to the Money in the Ass match, so he could absolutely, he could yeah. end up winning that on Sunday as well. Yeah. So all sorts of things could be going down in the Flim Flam Weight Division. Some would argue that it's the most active and interesting division, even though we almost never see ghoul face killer the current champion uh he will be in action later tonight however he will yes the main event in fact and uh he's facing a newcomer antsy i believe undefeated since his debut of, of one match ago <laughs> yes <laughs> but uh should be a hell of a match wouldn't that be a great way to go to come into the jfw go 2-0 and oh, and uh the second win notched against the current champ uh we've never seen anything like that before <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's fucking killing it over there, Jim. <laughs> well, I mean, we have, but I, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> well, fair enough. It's exactly what Tarsus did, isn't it? That is exactly what Tarsus did. Well done, Gorilla, yes. So that could be incredible. Uh, yeah, yeah, Tarsus did, yeah, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I, I keep I keep forgetting that Tarsus wasn't previously competing as uh, Jimmy Jimmy Minmax did <laughs> in the weeks before that, so I don't really consider that the same thing because it's, it's still a little bit unclear. <laughs> oh dude! <laughs> That's true. We almost never see Clavius. Clavius has been on loads. That's the funniest thing. <laughs> no, my back just hurts because I'm overweight and I uh, I, I spend too much time outside. <laughs> Being active. <laughs> oh, unseen Walker. You're not wrong though, Tony. He's so good and I'm so bad. I, I don't know what to do. I really ah, meant to. Jim, to Jim I, only, I, I only look good by comparison. <laughs> oh, Wait, that wasn't a compliment for you. Damn it, sorry. I was trying real hard. <laughs> I do like how in Tony's eyes, though, I've become like a uh, a freedom fighter of sorts. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah, Levin, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the one. Maybe that's we, the we thing about Jerry Lawler. We spend, See? We, yeah, we spend... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've been waiting all, all night for this. The first seven minutes of the show. <laughs> never gonna get old <laughs> sure enough oh, i'm watching on a delay whoops there we go <laughs> it's just the best the perfect uh, cinematic cut in on that too but uh but regardless of that every time he 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 quote unquote hits that uh it generally goes well for him for the rest of the match so yeah. let's see if this is any different it's oh does the thigh grab and just a vicious punch to the forehead busts open Muffin Pac-Man? He's in some serious trouble now. Hippie's really dominating. Yeah. Jimmy's flavor for it. Yeah. Oh my god, I should oh, Here we go. This could be it, Jim. It could Jimmy be it. Is, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Does he go for the pin? He goes right in for the pinfall. We, we do see Muppet hang on in a lot of dire circumstances. But, but not this today. is not one of those nights. Bleeding <laughs> Hippie just came to play. Muppet must have been looking forward to his huge money in the ass match in a couple days. And how many times have we seen that on a Friday night show with a, with a pay-per-view to come? One guy just looks way past the match and ends up losing horribly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this could be my new gimmick. <laughs> Just say yes. 
Well, we lost Jim in about nine minutes of show, so <laughs> that's a, he, he lasted longer than. Uh... <laughs> oh boy! All right, and look at this. I think we're going backstage now. Sounds like something's going on between Cocky and Wr Spenny. Let's see if we can get some cameras on them once this loading bar finishes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. If you missed a uh, world class Wednesday, WR Spenny won a six man world class match and beat Cocky. And Cocky, I've heard, is not happy about it and he's looking to confront Spenny. Okay, well, there we are, Ellen. There's the confrontation. And fists are flying. Oh my goodness. Somebody get back there. Somebody stop this. This is crazy, Jim. Mm -hmm. Three punches. Yeah. Yeah, two guys fighting backstage reminds me of uh of uh Skuro versus Golden Bagor backstage <laughs> back in back in the twenty twenties. <laughs> yeah. I nearly I nearly I made it against Golden Fagor just just for you. <laughs> he could be a backstage uh, yeah. brawl specialist. <laughs> but you know he was Cocky was in the match with Spenny, so that's who he's got to uh so he's got the fight. All right, and and here we go. Uh, Cocky, I don't know who confronted who originally, but uh, well, no, here comes Spenny again. Manhandling Cocky here. Yeah, Thunder thighs. This is this Spenny. is this is just a raging fury of action right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, there's a move. I hope you like it because it's a backstage <laughs> brawl. Cocky has his shirt on. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Forgot to do the same for Spenny, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, AJ way. Styles fleeing for his life. <laughs> Looks like he was just backstage to pay attention to the JFW because uh, <laughs> we are the hottest tick in wrestling right now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, good. Oh. oh no, sends him into that uh, box. But uh, mm. it doesn't seem to affect Cocky all that much, and this one's gonna keep going. Uh, as 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 you as you know, there are sanctioned rules for backstage brawling. We have no idea what they entail. Uh, <laughs> but eventually someone will be declared the winner. <laughs> Yes, it's a, it's a match to just whoever gets knocked out, and then, of course, they will put the boots to them for half an hour until they die. No, they will stop once they've knocked them out, and they will think they're happy with themselves, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing Walker, yeah, I really are. Looking no surprise that Cornette was involved. What a fucking scumbag. Anyway, let's not talk about all that shit. Yeah, I, I, you know, yeah. I, I got a lot to say about that, but this is neither the time nor the place for it. Yeah. Happy to talk about it on the wrestling channel, on Jimmy Fantastic's Discord. And if you want to get in on that action, the links are probably below. Or you can do the Discord command in chat to join the conversation there and get all of your JFW action when uh, the shows aren't running. God, you're so good at this. Oh, what a brutal German suplex. Fantastic stuff from Cocky. Oh, Cocky's sending him into that uh, WWE equipment box that we may or may not have stolen. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's how uh, AJ Styles got here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We actually stole him too. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the, there's the Patreon. If you go to www.patreon.com slash Fantastic, you, uh, you can get on Blood Bowl teams, you can get wrestlers created, you can get liveries created for iRacing, you can be a sponsor on my iRacing cars, and you can get Blood Bowl coaching, if I said that already. Yeah, brilliant. So there you go. Check that out. You twats. Subs get Snapchat. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Posing him off. Wow, we've never seen that end of match before. <laughs> That's oh, yeah, amazing. Jim, yeah, you definitely, Jim needs an OnlyFans, absolutely. <laughs> oh, 
Bouncer. And uh, now Cocky completely disoriented by all of that uh, that uh, ex fire extinguisher material. <laughs> Incredible, wow. <isn't> it? <laughs> yeah, Cocky stinks as shit because of his diaper. <laughs> Spenny was just trying to fucking make him smell alright. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and uh, looks like we're a little bit hitched in this one little corner, but uh, the doesn't seem to be facing Spenny all that much. Just absolutely dominating Taki right now. Yeah, he's beating the piss out of him. Oh, but here we go. Taki trying to come back. Mm. And I got to tell you, Jim, as far as uh, backstage brawls go, this one's a little underwhelming when you compare it to something like uh, Skiramezzo versus Golden Pagor. But if you uh, keep it a little more reasonable in, in the realm of reality for most uh, backstage brawls, this is pretty good action right now. Yeah, it's incredible. Much, much better than Golden for Gold versus Skuro Metzo. This is that the is best. definitely not what I said. <laughs> this is the best back, back, backstage brawl we've ever had in JFW history. It's yeah, you're saying incredible. that with a lot of conviction. You almost got through the full sentence without hesitating. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, look at this though, big uh, big uh, pile driver on the cement, and that could have ended WR Spenny's life and career. Cocky knocks him out with the pile driver for the win. Pretty impressive stuff by Cocky. Yeah, very impressive. <laughs> he won the match, he ended the match, he ended his career and maybe his life. <laughs> Wow, brutal, brutal that, wasn't it? The power driver on the concrete. So yeah, big win for Cocky. We'll see where that leads. And now we've got Das Hat with their tune-up match before the uh, before Money in the Ass as they go for the tag team belts against uh, some team. Fucking rats. And they're up against Rude Han, who won the TLC match on World Class Wednesday. Sure did. And man, uh, really, uh, really poor showing... Uh showing by uh, uh, their opponents in that one. Brilliant. Definitely didn't forget who they fought, though. <laughs> anyway, point point being, Das Hot has a big title shot trying to become the two-time, three-time? Two-time, uh, two-heads champions. Uh, but they're going to have to, uh, they're going to have to go through the fucking rats in a big match on a pay-per-view, which is not generally where you find the big rats faltering. So uh, this match booked, uh, you know, a little bit of momentum behind uh, Rude Ham uh, coming into this one. And uh, certainly the last thing I would want to have to do on a Friday night is uh, touch ball force. <laughs> but uh, this, is, this, is how you, uh, this is how you climb that ladder, uh, so, so to speak, in the JFW. And Das Hot are here to fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, they, they, not, they aren't cheaters they won fair and square I mean it's good they won fair and square or rather you lost fair and square <laughs> it was an underwhelming end and it was uh, it was you know a bit a bit lame but it was certainly fair and uh, if I recall correctly uh, Dress for Business was given a chance to kind of regain a little bit of uh, dignity uh, after their humiliating loss last week and uh, they were not able to capitalize on it. Uh, no, they did. They beat, they beat the fucking rats. Uh, that is exactly what I was trying to say, Jim. You cut me off. They absolutely capitalized on that. <laughs> Easily handling the fucking rats getting the win in that match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Hello, Tom Schnees. Hello, Tom Fucking hell, gorilla. <laughs> Jim, you gotta let me finish sometimes, man. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Incredible. I'll be right back here and fill my water up. Oh, boy. Absolutely incredible stuff from Gorilla Matsu. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Yellen. Fair enough. Here is Rudham, oh baby. Look at these two boys. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Look at 
Microphone. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard it on the stream, but I heard it. Oh dear. Maybe I should mute myself as well, so at least it's only me hearing it. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what he did. <laughs> oh, God, it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's impressive, isn't it? The old uh, JFW. Glorious. Oh, fuck. I wasn't muted. Sorry. <laughs> I <laughs> certainly won't, Gorilla! <laughs> Sorry. I, oh, God. I, <laughs> uh, I dropped an egg on my dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm just going to go die laughing. <laughs> some water out of the fridge and there was an egg on the counter for some reason that shouldn't have been there so I went to put it back right as my dog walked under my feet and I dropped it and it broke on his back and then he started running away to the bedroom and I thought he was going to jump in my bed with the raw egg broken on his back uh, oh fuck <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually just going to literally die laughing. Please don't mention it again. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and then the other dog came in the room and started yelling. Oh, oh. please. <laughs> please. Right, there's a match on. There's a, let's, let's look at the match. Look, here's Lean Gary. He's, he's picking up a man. Uh, he, the man's done so. It's Shawnee. Shawnee. Oh, it's Shawnee goes to hit him. He misses. Lean Gary's got him, and uh, Lean Gary's uh, manhandling him. He runs, he punches him. Oh, this is very exciting. And now he's walking around a bit, and uh, he's picked him up. And Oh, he's giving him a massage. Lovely. Look at that. And you guys said I couldn't get Jim to do play vibes. <laughs> Boy. Oh, no. <laughs> as soon as I stop him in danger, oh, what a vicious elbow. <laughs> and a stomp to the knee. That knee brace. Oh, God, Andy's shoulder. And now what's this? What's this move? Is it like a cross face? Yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Rolls reverse, Jim. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've got to mute, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of boiled eggs, Fall Force finally in for some action here, throttling Lean Gara. Oh, <laughs> Jim, Jim will be back in a few minutes. <laughs> oh man, I'm coughing my guts out. I'm fucking, it really hurts. I, I can't laugh too much. It really fucks me up. <laughs> oh, well, Jim. This happened the other day because I, tu I turned on fucking Tom Jones. Tom Jones was just fucking singing some fucking song. Um, and it was hilarious. Like, it was so over the top. And it was just amazing. And uh, and then you've done it as well. So thank you. Thank you, Gorilla. <laughs> no problem. Just think about all the calories you burned last year. Yeah, brilliant. 
Oh, I just you, can use that, uh, you can use that for your uh, training streams. Uh, oh shit. Oh, Rocky, Rocky, uh, Rocky eats raw eggs in the morning, of course. Uh, Skuro just mm -hmm. breaks them off his dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Oriolensis kicking and punching his way through uh, Fall Force right now. Here goes that uh, that count-out count. We've seen this end match. <laughs> we have seen this end matches a lot. Oh, fuck. Only a five count. <laughs> <laughs> Thus far. Oh, boy. No. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's all right <laughs> when they've got a clear path. It's when there's one of the tag yeah. team partners there. That the... Can we turn the gorilla and turn down Jimps? Uh... Really? That's that's so shocking to me because I basically scream into the mic at all times. All right, well, I, I can turn him up a little bit, yeah. All right. <coughs> well, Oriolens is able to recover getting back into the ring here. And uh, now sent into Rude Ham's corner. But it elbows his way out of it. And uh, this match continues. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we, uh, we don't. Uh, can yeah, you we do don't that? have that many. We don't have that many. We've only had like three or four total. They're just really funny when they happen. Yeah. Like, that that one that happened in the tournament finals was just utterly incredible. Yeah. And, and they would have happened if they were to 20 as well, right? They only happen when it glitches out and they just throw them into the yeah. same person. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Thurston. So if it had been... If it had been... It wouldn't have mattered if the count was 10 or 100. <laughs> yep. Uh, I agree. Oh, table leg, let's not talk about it. Uh, you know, that's the last thing. This this culture of if you say so, if you like a post, that makes you literally as bad as people who uh, have murdered millions of people because you liked a post on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. I think that's mental. I'm not entirely so, sure that that's what that implies, but I promised you I would uh, step away from this argument uh, yeah, <laughs> earlier, and I, and I intend to do so. Yeah. So, you know, I think I think it's a bit over the top to be honest. But there you go. At least they preach tolerance and then uh and then ruin the people's careers of people who, you know, vote a certain way or like a certain post. That's interesting. Isn't it's, it? a, it's an interesting strategy being like, Yeah, we should definitely not talk about this after I make my exact point that I want to make. Yeah. Hey look, it's uh, Table Legs' fault. I, I answered I it, I'm not gonna talk about it. I just, I'm not gonna talk about it, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I've said me piece, that's it. That's all. There's no need to go on about it. For Fair it, enough. And, and I think anyone that still supports the things that that person had gone on record as supporting deserves to be fucking penniless and uh, lose their career. So fuck them. Well, there you go. I think somebody deserves and, to... And you know what? It's an American company and we, uh, as, as Republicans, love to remind us, have a free market. And in a free market, a business can decide who exactly uh, they have representing them and uh, what the uh, the customer base is going to do. So if the customer base disagrees with that decision, they can put them out of business. But guess what's not going to happen? That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Lee and Gara sends Johnny into a corner. Well, this match has been going on for a while. It's gone on through at least one uh, one egg dropping. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, ta table leg, I fucking wish, man. I know some people that have been there, and it sounds amazing. That is... Happily, happily would go there. That is very true, Johnny Five. Yeah, that is <laughs> that, that is a great spot. Great point of Johnny Five. That is disgusting behavior. People who do that. Wow. That, really, when you think about it, that is about the worst thing you can do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry. Hang on, I gotta go outside. Well, the rumor's true that Shoney's headphones have been inside the arseholes of at least three different JFW wrestlers. <laughs> I don't know if that was a rumor, but... Um... Why not? Probably. At least his own and fault... At least his own and fault forces, right? 
I, I haven't heard anything you said. I was talking about. I was just answering uh, Lemony's good question about are the rumors true that Sean his headphones have been inside the arseholes of at least three different JFW wrestlers. <laughs> I thought it's going to be at least up his and fault forces here. I mean, if I've learned one thing in the JFW is any rumors uh, pertaining to anyone in the JFW start spreading, they're absolutely 100% true. Because <laughs> yeah. it's all fake and it's just for fun. So anything stupid can be true in this world. Yeah. Brilliant. Especially if it makes fun of fall force and shock. <laughs> yes. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, well, thanks for that information, J5. I don't know what it's got to do with wrestling, but thanks. <laughs> uh, J5, once again, uh, the <laughs> taking a private message for someone and putting it in. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Shawnee working over the legs, looking to hit that figure four at some point, maybe. That is uh, false. Lemon, Le Le Lemon, I agree. Like I said, the, the rumor that's been spreading is the latter, not the former. Uh, I firmly believe the truth behind uh, Tarsus being actually Jimmy Fantastic with a fake beard and mustache, but uh, what do I know? Jim keeps, uh, uh, my, 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 my co-commentator Jim's here, keeps uh, harping on the fact that they're completely the wrong size. But, you know, I saw Lord of the Rings, and uh, I, I, know, uh, I know Elijah Wood isn't actually three feet tall, so. <laughs> they also, the fucking Gimli was one of the biggest guys, wasn't he? The guy who played. He was, which, uh, which uh, actually, in terms of the way they filmed it, worked out perfectly for them. Yeah. Oh, and there it is! Oh. Wow, Shawnee made out, made to tap out with a modified version of his own move, practically. Yeah. The Dos Hots are ready for their shot at the fucking Rats this Sunday at 9 p.m. UTC, I think. 8, 8 p.m. UTC. UTC. <laughs> yeah, 9 p.m. UK time, 8 p.m. Yeah. UTC, whatever the time that four, is. Four, 4 p.m. Gorilla time. 4 p.m. Gorilla time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gorilla time. Gorilla time sounds like a bad time. Oh fuck off, J5! Don't do this to me. Don't, don't do this to me. <laughs> I don't want to die <laughs> today. <laughs> from I don't want to die for full force with peg on. I don't. I don't. <laughs> like, oh, speaking of, yeah, yeah. It's 442, shit. I think I probably dropped that egg about 420. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Right, that's what's happening now. That next match. Yes, yeah, incre in in very impressive by Daz Hats. Uh, Fall Force not even going to Shawnee's aid there. Oh my god, look at this. What a pair of. Yeah, a rivalry match here. here. 20 plays poorly versus Jimmy Fantastic. Their two best buddies in their corners, J5 and Table Leg Wanger, respectively. This match means absolutely nothing. Neither of these guys getting uh, any, any, uh, any, any. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 20 plays poorly actually does have a title shot uh, this Sunday at Money in the Ass, doesn't he, Jim? He does, he yes. Talked much about that. He does, so what better way oh, to prepare does. himself for that no, by going against one of the best Until competitors in the entire JFW? I yeah, I mean, uh, I that, that's defend. one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is so many pregnancies. lost his qualification match against both Adonta Kellis and uh, Tony Plays Poorly, bitched and moaned his way into uh, into this match. Oh, but look at this, not even letting the ring, or not even letting the announcer get this thing started. Just running out to get himself absolutely pummeled by Tony Plays Poorly <laughs> to start this match. Are we even going to have a match, Jim? I don't know. I think, yeah, it looks like we are. Oh, yeah, they've just teleported in the managers. Okay, amazing. <laughs> well, uh, Jimmy, uh, once again, getting uh, a new kit to run out into the ring. Uh, changes, uh, <laughs> you know, changes, uh, changes outfits more than he does wrestling matches, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. 
Teleportation, Johnny. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic, Gor Gorilla Metso. Yeah, that is that is true, Tony. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, hundred per. I mean, hundred percent on on board with that. Except for the whole like BB gun thing. I I, I will never hold or fire a gun in my life, Tony, and I have no interest in doing so. <laughs> Oh, Bezel, don't, don't do this to me, Bezel. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> the real fuck of it is I forgot to fill up my water and all the excitement. <laughs> it's not iron. This is, this is, I tell you what, table leg will tell you this was always the colours of Jimmy Fantastic. Gold, red, and dark red and white were always the colours of Jimmy Fantastic. And so here they are. This is pretty much the the outfit that I had in uh, in two K fourteen or whatever. So going back, I don't know why I didn't start with this to be honest. So there you go, Bosh. I I do. I if I if I can say it's probably your best look thus far. I'm not sure the gloves work to your advantage in this one. <laughs> I think they. Uh, I think the gold looks a little weird on the hands there. Fair enough. <laughs> but the rest of it, the rest of it kind of does work for me. I'm not gonna lie. Thanks. Do you have a Shawnee Fleshlight sponsorship? Though? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no one. Shawnee Fleshlights. I need to put that on. You could probably put one on the ass there. <laughs> yeah. No, Table Leg is definitely not a sidekick, no. <laughs> no, def <laughs> Table Leg definitely not a sidekick. <laughs> Hell, eggs are like five bucks a fucking dozen nowadays. So, like. <laughs> well, actually, they're more than that if you're buying organic free range. Oh, ultimate Splash! Oh, oh, oh. Sure is. Yep, Jimmy Minmax Fastic digging down to his well of Minmaxing, and just there it is, laying on those those close fist punches. Oh, a little oh. bit of a different uh, performance than we usually see from Jimmy. Not just getting his ass kicked left, right, and center before winning it easily with a single move. Oh, it's a camel clutch. I break his back. I fuck his ass, and I make him humble. <laughs> Quite possibly the least effective camel clutch we've seen in the JFW, but we've seen a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> instantly, instantly, even a guy like Tony who uh, does not handle um, does not handle these things well uh, <laughs> breaks out of it. And hey, Jim, uh, weren't we supposed to hear from uh, Unseen Walker about uh, his upcoming match against Tony this Sunday at Money in the Ass? Oh yeah. It looks like maybe he got bumped for time, but uh, I'm going to hang on. I got some notes on this one here. It turns out, so um, if, if you all remember, Tony did win the qualification match into this, but Adonta Kellis has been the clear front runner for another shot at the title. Really, really laid it on thick backstage. Um, and uh, and, and lobbied, lobbied to get added to that match. Uh, we're not entirely sure what the stipulation tonight is, but we know Jimmy Fantastic was brought out here with a specific reason uh, in this match against Tony, and uh, we're, we're waiting to hear back from uh, upper management about what that could be, but right now, looks like Tony doesn't have too much to worry about because he just busted open Jimmy Fantastic and is absolutely dominating this match and looking to end it right no. here. No, Tony. Oh, shit! Oh, there's the stunner, but if anyone can kick out of a stunner, it is Jimmy Minmax Fantastic. Oh, no, Table Leg gets in yes. and away, interfering. Yes! Uh, J5 standing flaccidly on the other side, doing absolutely nothing. Yes, Table Leg! <laughs> table Leg oh, saves the match here. And, yeah, I'm being told that if Tony wins this match, there will be a match stipulation of Unseen Walker's choice, but that's it. No Adonta Kellis in the match. If Jimmy Fantastic ends up winning this match, we might see... Odonta Kellis added into that match as well. Ah. Oh, it would have been good to have had Odonta Kellis versus Tony, wouldn't it? But never mind. Well, no, but see, that's the point. Uh, Odonta Kellis really, really lobbying hard to get added to that match without having to do any more work. Oh, says okay, he's yeah. earned it. 
But uh, and as, as we know, Jim McMahon will always will always rely on a guy like Jimmy Minmax Tastic uh, to do his bidding. And here's a second stunner. Tony on fire right now. Can this be the end of this match? Nope. No, just the two count. Got to do better than two stunners, Tony. <laughs> Oh, and thank you very much, Anani, for staying fantastic. E, I, I saw, I saw that, but there was something happening, and I didn't say thank you. Thank you very much, Anani, for staying fantastic for nearly eight who will be the princes. Thank you very, very much. Glorious. Oh yes, look at that, Jimmy, fantastic feeling it. Ready to beat the shit out of Tony here. Hit him with a half crab. <laughs> the deadly half crab. Ho ho ho, devastating. Oh, look at that. What a maneuver. The uh, the uh, European uppercut there. I don't know what the. What, what's it called? Very European uppercut, is it? Fantastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Hello, Fault Ho ho ho. This is looking good. Oh, shit. Tony, I think. <laughs> I Countered by it. Tony, but Jim Jim fighting his way out of this. Uh, will we see uh, the classic the classic uh, rock bottom to end the match after taking two stunners and just completely no selling everything, or <laughs> will we see Tony continue to frame this damage on Jimmy Min Max Tastic and get his victory? Come on, Jimmy. Yes. Oh, in a last second kick out. Jimmy is gushing blood out of his head, though. <laughs> oh, God, the third stunner. Oh, and here it is. Possibly a third stunner if Jimmy can't regain himself. Doesn't seem he's going to, and this has got to be it, Jim. Actually dead now. <laughs> yeah, he's And that even is it. Jimmy. Tony has won it. And yes, that's right. I'm getting the call right now. Unseen Walker will get to choose the stipulation in this match. And I'm going to wager I know what it is, but we'll wait until the end of the show to announce it for sure. Thanks very much, Gorilla. I'm glad you're on the ball. Yeah, because somebody fucked up the booking that we actually had a private meeting about a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> we talked specifically about how to handle this. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure, Gorilla, you're mistaken there, and... Uh... Yeah, well, that sounds believable. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. I've, I've done No, that's all right. You dropped the egg, Jim. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Drop the egg. Eggs on the Eggs on We need a, we need a fucking Guru <laughs> Metzo egg t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, damn Dave. <laughs> He's still <dancing> on the ball. <laughs> oh, oh my god. And by sheer force of will, Tony plays poorly, wins that match. And yeah. Well done. Uh, yeah, he had, to, he had to withstand the one flurry that usually ends in a rock bottom uh, to do so, but otherwise pretty much dominant from start to finish there. Uh, not, not, nothing we haven't seen from uh, Tony Blaze poorly before. But now, speaking of the champ, Unseen Walker tunes up against the Golden Fagor non-title match. Yes, of course, Golden Fagor won his six-man elimination match of World Class Wednesday, so... For that, he gets to be Unseen Walker's tune-up match before defending his yeah. title on Sunday against Tony Plays Pooley of Unseen Walker, of course, the World Heavyweight Champion. And stipulation to be announced. Will we hear it from him after this match? Maybe. Um, Satterfield always was, yeah, Johnny Five. Um, we made all of you guys, my EF and Snackers, all allied. Seems to be working out for at least Mighty AF. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it doesn't really work out for them when they have to be associated with fucking Satterfield. <laughs> oh, dude. The Golden Fagol. Oh, 
<laughs> it is, isn't it? Well, hey, we, we saw more competency out of uh, Table Leg Wanger than we've seen out of most managers in the JFW. That's true, yeah. Great stuff. And there he is, Ican Styles, the Golden Fogor, best known as the guy who almost went toe to toe <laughs> with Skurametsu backstage <laughs> that one time, but couldn't quite hang with him and ended up losing to a vicious knee fall. <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they, Table Leg? You would think that a, a hulking brute. A <laughs> monstrous meat slab. You would think it would be like his his main weapon would be his brute strength and everything, but actually his his main weapon is is he's a cerebral assassin. He is. Uh, I was just gonna, I was gonna go there too, Jim. Well done. Well done. Yes, he's a he's a master manipulator. Is is a uh, table leg. There you go. Oh god, nineteen. <laughs> he does jerk off on caravans too, yeah, that's true. And there he is, rising out of the ring, the unseen walker. That's a stage the gorilla. World heavyweight champion. And his opponent from Mexico City. Oh, Bizzle, Bizzle, no. Yeah, do you fair, both? <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, my God. Yes, Lemon. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jimmy, think, think long and hard about what you're doing there. You'll never be able to make it through a match uh, with that off. That is a good point, yeah. Yeah, shit. Christ. <laughs> it's a pretty great idea though, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and a quick pinning attempt by Unseen Walker, but uh, probably a little bit too quick for his own good there. <laughs> got a towel. Oh man, the towel. <laughs> I don't know if I've told everybody about table leg and towels. <laughs> Should I tell everybody about table leg and towels? Probably. I have told them the uh, the 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 uh, the fateful hotel story, so I guess. <laughs> What would we do with that? <laughs> yeah. Um it's 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 not as epic as the fake cell phone. Um but what what table leg likes to do when we're uh, like when sharing a fu uh, a fucking hotel with somebody, not a hotel, more not a bed well, what what are they are they hotels? Like travel lodge or whatever, generally. Um we often you know, go to magic tournaments, 40k tournaments, all that sort of thing we've been to. And whenever we go to one of those tournaments, he will always get a, get a towel. He'll go to the toilet, get a towel, shove it up his ass, <laughs> then come out and strut around like a peacock. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> That's the peacock, and he, he does it without fail. He'll always do, pull off a peacock and... For some people, it's the first time they've seen him doing a peacock, and they're, they're aghast, as you can imagine. <laughs> I missed the first, like, two-thirds of this conversation. Um, but here we are, fair enough. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it sounds like uh, my, my co-commentary partner, Jim's, uh, here is... Uh, Outlining some of his date nights with, I believe, Table Leg Wanger for their weekend getaways sounds like a good time, Mom. But, it uh, is, yeah. Also, <laughs> we've done many, we've done many uh, wrestling maneuvers, broken many beds. I don't doubt beds. that. 
I've still got videos of some of them on the old table leg. Like I could put them. I could put them on for people to. I've got the. I've got the. This is Dive and Planking as well, which was, which was incredible. If you uh, if you remember when planking was a thing, um, <laughs> do you remember when planking? When was planking a thing? Like tw twenty fucking about ten years ago, Jim. Yeah, about twenty twelve, wasn't it? So the uh, <laughs> when planking was a thing, table leg did one diving planking. And uh, yeah, he originated it. And it's brilliant because we've got we've got loads of we've got loads of Stella on the bed, and he goes from one bed to the other. And, and just as he's about to launch, there's the clink of the Stella, and that just adds that that's what completes the video. Really, it's brilliant. <laughs> and he does the he does the fantastic like salmon dive and uh, diving planking. It's amazing. <laughs> it should be on Netflix. <laughs> Not naked, well, no, Johnny. Golden Vagor really taking it to Upsy Walker absolutely here. beat the living Easy fuck. Easy three count, and look at that. Uh, yet another instance where the champ just does not give a fuck about his Friday night match before <laughs> pay-per-view. And uh, the Golden Vagor easily winning this match. Really bad showing by Unseen Walker there. Yeah. Uh, not sure what's going on, but I am uh, getting word... Object. Uh, from backstage that right before coming out for this match he told uh, he, he, he told one of our promoters that uh, oof, uh, sounds to me like uh, he's going to oh man I'm just butchering this yeah it's going to be a fucking submission match against Tony on Sunday <laughs> <laughs> brilliant because Tony fun. gives up sometimes <laughs> yes Jim, uh, Jim really botched this whole storyline, but now we got Unseen Walker versus Tony Plays Poorly for the World Heavyweight Championship of the JFW in a submission match this Sunday at Money in the Ass. Yeah, yeah, I fucked it all up. Sorry. All right, and Jim, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. If you recall the other day, Adonta Kellis asking Kale's Eddie to replace him due to injury uh, in his match against Unseen Walker, and uh, here they are facing each other. What happened, Jim? Well, Kale's that he got his ass beat like a red-headed stepchild, and <laughs> Adonta Kellis feels like Kale's that he let him down massively, and he feel Adonta feels like that's why Adonta is not getting the title shot, so he wants to punish Kale's that he also because he's got the claws and the feet the same as him, and he thinks he looks fucking stupid. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, uh, this is the last few weeks have been just fairly disastrous for Dante Kellis, who, uh, if you had asked me on Monday a week and a half ago, uh, I would have said he's the favorite to not only get the Money in the Ass uh, World Heavyweight Championship match, but also probably to win it based on all of his performances. But then he loses in the triple threat to Tony Plays Poorly uh, while beating Jimmy Fantastic in the same match somehow. Uh, but then... Uh, take or at least claims an injury when given a shot against Unseen Walker to prove that he deserves to be in that match as well. Puts Kale Zeddy in, and Kale Zeddy does nothing. But really don't know what that strategy was all about, but uh, clearly not having the title has been getting into Don's head. And uh, well, we'll see where it goes from here. But tonight he's looking to beat down the Lizard Man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true, Lemon, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a specimen a dunt is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, always the top competitor in the JFW, but just really interesting decision making the last few weeks. Or last few shows, I should say. Yeah. Halloween guy. <laughs> the hell's that, dude? <laughs> that went an extra. Oh, man. Uh, well, speaking of eggs, here comes the lizard man, Kale Zeddy. Because he's a lizard and they come out of eggs. Yeah. 
<laughs> that wasn't your most enthusiastic yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> yeah, coming out with a lot of uh, grandeur for a guy who has accomplished nothing and looks like a total asshole. <laughs> KLZ, uh, a win here against Dante Kellos could be uh, a little bit earth shattering for the JFW, though. That would just just uh, drive KLZ up the ladder. But also, what would what would be going on with a Don if he were to lose this match? Yeah, well, it could happen. It absolutely could, Jim. We've seen weirder things before. Yeah, I mean, he's a fucking saurus. He's massive. <laughs> Oh, ref, ref getting in the way there a little bit, but uh, Adant trying to trying to counter out, but it seems like Kale said he's using his size here to be uh, in charge of this one. Large and in charge. Oh, look at that. Nice counter. Yep, absolutely. Counters back and forth. These guys pretty evenly matched early on. Surprising. Yeah. Oh, big swing and a miss, though, by Adant to Pays for Kale Z paying for that. Look what a maneuver that was. Strength of Ordon, he's feeling it. Oh, look at that. That's some some kind of submission maneuver. Yep, sure is. <laughs> it's the uh pulley armsy pulley heady move. Uh, very technical terminology used for it, Jim. I'm uh, impressed. Thanks very much. I've been uh, doing this for 50 years and I haven't heard of half of the moves. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Old Don Todd won. Taking, he's taking over the match now, isn't he, Don? Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, n not really all that surprising. Not really. It's boosh. Or a slam. Is he got on the top rope? Oh, no, he's getting a weapon. It's Extreme Rules. Yeah, absolutely. Dante Kellis, not one to back away from picking the weapon up and putting it down. <laughs> oh. And you like clockwork. Puts it down. And also, possibly about to be dropped on it. Ooh. Nope, never mind. Oof. Oh. Interesting way Interesting way to headbutt someone into the turnbuckle. Yeah. I'm sure they would be, yeah, J5. They do it with dogs and uh, cheetahs, don't they? In, uh, I suppose it depends on what kind of lizard we're talking about here. <laughs> it was a friendly lizard. <laughs> oh, well, big, big spine buster. Big spine buster. Is that it? And, uh, all right, the universe has been, has normalized a bit. Odonta Kellis winning with the Spine Buster in about three minutes. <laughs> that wasn't much of a match. KLZE will have to go back to the spawning pool and, uh, sort his <laughs> shit out. Yeah. Maybe have a nice fry up to get his strength up. <laughs> wow, that was pathetic. A pathetic drawing from Kale's ID. Or if you prefer, a dominant one from Ordont. He's yeah, angry. Yeah, exactly. He's angry. He wants his shot at the World Heavyweight up. Championship. Yeah, absolutely fired up. And now we are going to hear from Flicky Flack of all fucking people. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he's got to say, Jim, but I think we're about to find out. Yeah, we, we, yeah it's interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you goal set. Never played this game. <laughs> At least he's got the cat all the all caps locked in. Yeah, brilliant. All right, and here comes Flicky Flack, looking to do a bit of talking about things. Last we saw him, 
he was uh, facing down Night Demon. Yes. yes and uh, yeah. grabbing that mic, and let's hear what he's got to say, Jim. Yeah. Hello, I'm Flicky Flack, and I'm here to tell you all that uh, I don't really like Night Demon coming out and white knighting about uh, uh, what I did to Gdanik with uh, Mar Marcel McDaniel's help. So I'm out here to say, well, uh, fuck off, uh, Night Demon, uh, and you're a fucking cunt. So yeah, here's what I here's what I did. Even though Night Demon beat me. And he beat Marcel and, uh, and made us both look like assholes. Uh, I went to Jim McMahon and said, it's bullshit what he did. So uh, I think uh, you're a big fucking fraud, Night Demon, and that you don't got no friends in the JFW, unlike me and my best new mate, uh, Marcel McDaniels. And just like, just like we fucked up... Uh, just like we fucked up Kadenik, the two of us are gonna fuck you up. So we got ourselves a little tag match at um at Money in the Ass, you fucking cunt. So if you can find a partner at all backstage, anyone who wants to come get their ass kicked with you, which you fucking won't. Oh yeah, this is going New Jersey real fast, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then uh, then show up at Money in the Bank with them, and uh, yeah, you you're a, you're a, you're a cunt. Did I mention that part? Uh, you you wanker, and um, yeah. So if you can find a friend, you can bring him with you. If not, you're getting a fucking handicap match. And that's all I gotta say. Even though, oh, wow, this went really fucking Jersey short. God damn you guys. <laughs> <laughs> even though um hello okay now we're back at you hello <laughs> wow it seems <laughs> like uh flicky frock's got a serious case of the brains worms here we might yeah, have to Jim, cut him I, I don't know what to say it seems like he said everything he had to say and anything he's still talking about is just due to him being uh uh overstaying his welcome oh yeah, there wow. it goes he hit his terrible music and he's walking out of the well, you heard it here. If Night Demon can find himself a tag partner on Sunday, he will have the help to get a fair match. If not, it's going to be a two-on-one handicap match. That doesn't bode well for the undead man. Uh, not too many friends backstage. No, absolutely not. That's the thing. He, he might feel like he's on a crusade, but really, Flicky Flack and Marcel, much more popular than Night Demon. And yeah, he he's really doesn't have many friends. We'll have to see if he can find anybody to team up with him on Sunday night, 8 p.m. UTC, at Money in the Ass. Oh, that's pretty good, Jim. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> now it's time for the main event. Ansi won on his debut versus Table Leg Wanger on Wednesday, World Class Wednesday. And his reward is to be in the main event here. And uh, up versus Ghoulface Killer, the Plim Plum Pluseweight Champion, in the last match of the last show before Money in the Ass. Absolutely. Ghoulface Killer uh, hasn't had a ton of matches in the last couple of weeks, needing the tune up here. But uh, the unknown uh, opponent, Antsy, could give him all sorts of trouble. Very impressive win just a couple days ago. And again, we've not only seen it from other champions tonight, but we've seen it from Ghoulface Killer himself. Uh, really looking past these tune-up matches and getting ready for the, the uh, you know, the actual match at the pay-per-view. Will that happen here? Can Ansi go 2-0 and in the JFW with a win over the current champ? That would just vault him into the conversation of relevance with Absolutely. guys like Muffet Pac-Man and, of course, Moradam, the literal fucking goblin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not even an Australian, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, that was great, that, by the way, Gorilla. Thanks. And yes, here's Ansi on his way. He's just finished playing for Celta Vigo. And now he's on his way for a wrestling match. 
<laughs> Sounds about right. It's weird how custom characters don't sync with their music properly, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty shit. I think I think they would if you did the uh, the custom build. Or is it the non... No, it's the not custom So yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't sync then, actually. Yeah, it should sync, shouldn't it? I guess, yeah, you'd yeah. have to do it advanced and, and manually sync it, but it just doesn't sync. Well, no, sync. but when you do advanced, they lose, like, they lose some of the things, like uh, Goldberg's breathing the smoke thing, and, like, I would assume... Uh, yeah, like, I would assume... Maybe and maybe the syncing's just not good for out of Cole's entrance. I don't know, but... Um, yeah, because that he really should have. He really should have hit that at the right time. Yeah, that one and Papa Piccolo, they were both done simple, so they should have both they should have both worked, shouldn't they? And here he is, the Plim Plum Pluseweight champ, GFK. Yep. The biggest belt and the littlest guy. The <laughs> yeah, Plum brilliant. Plum Pluseweight title. Probably the most exciting title run in this entire JFW uh, history, really. I mean, this thing's been almost... I mean, all of, all of the best matches have been, you know, surrounding the run for this title, with the exception of, obviously, uh, fucking the bread mask holding it in the very first show. <laughs> the Friday Night Fuckboy is <laughs> it's a bit of a <laughs> letdown. <laughs> really excited about this match, though. I want to see more from Nancy, personally. That was a really great win on Wednesday night. And uh, while it wasn't very much competition, uh, doing it against Wolfface Killer, that's a whole different story. Yeah, it really was a very impressive performance versus a super heavyweight, and now he's in some fit picking on someone his own size. Let's see how he goes this time. The uh, I, I will say this in terms of synced entrances, uh, Skurametsu's beautiful punches <laughs> during his pyros are perfectly synced for some reason. Oh, they're, they're not as good as uh, Skrull Dudes, though, are they? He's got the best synced entrance. Uh, yeah, his is yeah his is pretty good, too. But no, I mean, Skrull is, is perfect. Yeah, well, there it is, a big, long headlock by Ansi as we uh, both agree on Skrull's entrance being perfect. But we continue back to this match, and Ghoulface Killer with the <laughs> super kick to get right back on top of it. And I've learned if I just speak fast enough and loud enough, I can say anything I want and get Jim to agree with me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never change. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> All right, Ghoulface Killer taking over now, but Antsy counters out of it. Oh man, the the short shorts are a little bit much, Antsy. You might have to <laughs> might have to find a tail for you, sir. <laughs> I do like the short shorts. He looks like an asshole that would like tailgate at a tennis match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that's what football hooligans look like in England in the eighties. Uh, okay, I see. So, but he doesn't look like I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm American, and most of my experience with football hooligans is the movie Green Street. That Green Street hooligans. Uh, but, uh, which is a fantastic film. But uh, he looks more like uh, he would never, ever, ever, ever get in a fight, and he would only pick a fight on his friend's behalf, which strikes me more as a tennis fan, a heavily drunk tennis fan than a uh, actual soccer <laughs> league. Yeah, no, that, that's what they were like. They were called casuals, and they, like, ah. they looked like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> now Ghoulface Killer doing the old brain worms <laughs> into the turnbuckles here. Bold maneuver doesn't seem to work out for him <laughs> as Ansi recovers and uh, takes it right to him. But no, here he goes, counters him out. Maybe he was just uh, walling him into a false sense of security, getting his uh, little arm drag here off the top rope and fully executed. Yeah. Oh, I love Ooh. that movie. That was oh, and just a flip for no fucking reason. You know it's a cruiserweight match. <laughs> I love that movie, Antsy. I, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. 
The double knee stomp. And now relaxing into our headlock. And yeah, slowing down the pace a little bit. Not something you see from Ghoul Face Kill all that often. Probably setting himself up for about four Spanish flies from the top <laughs> rope though. <laughs> Set on fire up to Nadabi Federer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, Bizzle knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, dear me. GFK. Whoa. People oh, love that classic. in JFW, don't they? Yeah, the JFW exclusive. <laughs> I, I say it's exclusive because uh, I don't watch any other wrestling, so I assume no one else does it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and that was an RKO out of nowhere, by the sure way. Sure was, and that truly was out of nowhere. And now Antsy firing himself back up here. Oh, in with his beautiful kick. I love that move. Yeah. Wow, Antsy. And now stalks him in the corner. Hesitates a second, but now laying it right back on him. Oh, he's gonna oh, fall. Yeah, he lawn, lawn darts him into the middle rope, and now Antsy. This is exactly what happened in his last match. Got himself nice and fired up. <laughs> I believe that too, Lemon. Yeah, I think we're all talking about the same kind of world of people here. <laughs> I think I think what we're dancing around is that he looks like an utter cunt. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was that was the that was the uh, that was the goal one creating him. So I still don't think he has as punchable a face as Baker's, but uh, I like I like I like where your head was at with the design here. And uh, I gotta say though, I, I you know not for nothing, I'm I, I'm already a big Ansi fan. I think this guy could really go places, and he's showing us right now with his dominance over Ghoulface Killer in the latter half of this match. And we'll see if this can continue, and can he get the win? Glorious. <laughs> Just the two count there. Oh. Oh, beautiful back drop, drop kick there. Now he's all fired up. He's got to keep focused, though. I know he's still kind of new here. So it is easy for the, uh, the raging crowd of people <laughs> to get into your head here. <laughs> As I look oh, out through the uh, Twitch stream time. chat. We see, oh, oh, and here we go. Spanish fly time indeed. We've got, you know, a half dozen people. Only one of them is the ANSI social media manager. <laughs> All cheering for ANSI, it seems. But Ghoulface with the Spanish fly now going up top rope. This is how he could end this match right here, right now. Or will he find the knees? Oh, he, he finds does. the knees with the shooting star press. And that is devastating. ANSI's got to uh, lay it on him now. Oh, what a Ooh. maneuver. Absolutely. Antsy might steal this one if Ghoulface can't recover. Oh, vicious attacking the arms of GFK. Oh, and there it is. The rings of Saturn. Is he going to Ghoulface, will the champ tap out? Maybe we've already seen uh, somebody tap out oh, tonight. Oh, we, we might be stuck in a loop with this ref here. No, mm -hmm. and uh, Antsy, Antsy breaks the, the ref brainworms loop up. <laughs> and then uh, very cleverly works over the leg after the long submission to the shoulder and arm. <laughs> That's it! And then the easy pin, and Antsy is 2-0. and oh. He's beaten the champ, and once again... Look, you can set your clock to it. The champ has disregarded his tune-up match. He thinks he's ready for Moradam this Sunday at Money in the Ass. But tonight is about Antsy winning in the main event. Oh, a little show of respect here maybe between the two. And there it is. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Antsy looking to climb the ladder the right way with pure wins and nothing else. And uh, I think he's got the champ's uh, respect. You know, if Bullface is able to retain against Mordam this Sunday, that actually could help Ansi out uh, coming out in a friendly rivalry. Yeah, wow. Incredible performance by him. And that is all we've got time for tonight. So there you go. A great show. Great performance from Ansi. 
And uh, yes, it is money in the ass. Next up on this Sunday at 2000 UTC, that's the money in the ass match there. And uh, thank you very much, Gorilla Metso, for tonight. Absolutely. I cannot wait for Sunday night. And if you need to get caught up on any action before Money in the Ass, if you want to see how each one of those men got into the Money in the Ass match, make sure to hit up YouTube. That's Jimmy Fantastic or www.jimmyfantastic.com to go check out all of the previous JFW action leading up to Money in the Ass. I'm Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you for having me as always, Jimmy Fantat, Jim McMahon, and I will see you on Sunday. Glorious. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.